Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Self Centered, the one and only podcast helping you fully embrace your individuality and chase after that ultimate goal self actualization. I'm your host, Sheena Aaron, here to make sure you're stepping up, stepping out, and living your highest potential. Today, we're digging into a topic that people throw around a lot, but not everyone really gets self-actualization. Now, before you say, Sheena, isn't self-actualization just a fancy word for living your best life? The answer is yes. But it's also about becoming the truest version of yourself, not the version your parents, friends, or society want. No, no, no. It's about your version of greatness, whatever that looks like to you. Okay, so self-actualization is about understanding who you are, accepting it fully, and unapologetically living it out. It's about not just existing, but thriving on your own terms. All right, let's break down a few key elements of self-actualization so you can start making moves to reach your own potential starting right now at this very moment. And I'll tell you up front, this journey is not for the faint of heart. If you're not ready to step up and be the realest version of yourself, well, you might as well sit this one out. I'll see you again next week. Okay, so first you need to get real with your needs. First things first, to reach self-actualization, you need to get clear about what you truly need. Now, when I'm talking about needs, I'm not just talking about food, water, or shelter. I'm talking about the kind of needs that fill your soul, the needs that set you on fire. Self-actualization is about understanding what you truly want out of life, whether it's freedom, creative expression, meaningful relationships, or simply growth or not so simply growth. Imagine you're peeling back layers of an onion. Each layer brings you closer to what you really need. It's time to dig deep, cut through the fluff, and get brutally honest with yourself. Do you need to feel understood? Challenged, loved. Once you know what you need, you can start shaping your life to meet those specific needs. Next up, we need to stop seeking external validation. Listen closely. You will never reach self-actualization if you're obsessed with what other people think of you, period. That's a fast track to living a life that isn't yours. Seeking external validation keeps you trapped in someone else's expectations. So if you're looking for likes, compliments, or approval, from others to feel good about yourself, guess what? You're already limiting your growth. And I know that it's hard in this era to avoid seeking external validation, but make sure if you are seeking it, you seek it in moderation. Self-actualization means freeing yourself from the weight of other people's opinions. It means doing things because they make you happy. They fulfill your purpose. They feel right for you. The people who truly matter will stick around and everyone else they'll fade away and that's okay this is good riddance honestly so before we go any further i want to remind you that this journey to self-actualization doesn't have to be a solo mission if you're ready to dig even deeper into self-love and unlocking your highest potential then you're going to want to check out my books the self-love letter and the yellow pill your complete guide to a self-centered life You can grab them on Amazon by typing in Sheena Aaron. These books are loaded with practical tips, real talk, and everything you need to kickstart your journey to a fully self-centered, self-actualized life. So get ready to go from wanting more to truly living it. So make sure you head over to Amazon and type in Sheena Aaron to see the rest of my books as well. I'd love for you to take this self-love journey with me. Okay, now back on to what we were talking about before, and you need to embrace growth, not perfection. Okay, so real talk, self-actualization is a process. It's not about achieving a perfect version of yourself. It's about constant growth. If you're waiting to become this perfect version of you, that's a trap. 
life is messy and self-actualization is about thriving in that mess honestly it's about learning adjusting and evolving as you go look the version of yourself that you're working on today that's going to look different in six months in a year in five years self-actualization doesn't have to have an endpoint and it won't honestly it's about striving to become a little better a little wiser and a little truer to yourself every single day so let go of the idea of perfect because perfect doesn't exist growth though that's real and that's achievable let growth be your goal find your purpose and live it fully Now, I know purpose can sound like a big, scary word, but purpose is simply that thing that lights you up, that makes you feel alive and connected to something bigger than yourself. Maybe for you, it's art, or it could be helping people or solving big problems. Whatever purpose is for you, that's what gives your life direction, and you need to follow that direction. Living out your purpose is an essential part of self-actualization because it aligns your life with what matters to you. It's not about what you do for a living or how much money you make. It's about finding something that feels meaningful to you and pouring your energy into that. Your purpose doesn't have to be grand or world-changing. It just has to matter to you. So think long and hard about what I just said. What matters to you? What purpose do you find in what you do? Next, you got to accept yourself flaws and all. Self-actualization doesn't mean becoming a flawless human being because what is that? It means understanding that you're not perfect and that's okay. Accept yourself flaws and all because if you can't love who you are right now, you're never going to feel truly satisfied no matter what you achieve. This is about radical self-acceptance. Learning to love the good, the bad, and even the things that might be a little messy. True self-actualization happens when you stop trying to fix yourself and start living with authenticity. Embrace every part of yourself, the things you're proud of, and even the things you're still working on. Because self-acceptance is the foundation for all other growth. Make sure that you surround yourself with the right energy. This one is crucial. People, self-actualization requires a nurturing environment. If you're you're surrounded by people who don't get you, who doubt you, or who keep you stuck in negativity, it's going to be nearly impossible to reach your potential. You got to find people who uplift you, who challenge you, who inspire you. This is very, very important and probably one of the most important parts of reaching self-actualization is to be surrounded by an uplifting environment so that you truly can grow it's your fertilization it's your soil now i'm not saying to cut everyone out of your life but be selective about who you let into your inner circle and who you let into your brain because your environment shapes you make sure you're surrounded by people and things that reflect the life you're striving for not just the one you're trying to leave behind and all in all you have to enjoy the journey so this is the kicker about self-actualization it's all about the journey you're never done you're never going to wake up one day and say all right i'm fully self-actual i'm fully self-actualized it's time to coast from here life really doesn't work that way self-actualization is about enjoying the ride learning along the way and evolving through each season that you encounter of your life so Let's stop looking at self-actualization like it's a destination and start seeing it as a way of life. It's about living each day with purpose, with authenticity, and with the intention to grow. And don't forget, you've got to make room for a little joy and a whole lot of self-love along the way. All right, so that's it for today's episode. I hope you're feeling fired up to start living out your own self-actualized life one step at a time remember self-actualization isn't about reaching some mythical finish line it's about becoming more of who you already are every single day so get out there and live it up and if you're ready to dive deeper into self-love and self-actualization don't forget to check out my books the self-love letter and the yellow pill your complete guide to a self-centered life 
both available on Amazon. Just type in Sheena Aaron and start building the life you deserve because you really deserve it. Thank you for tuning in to Self Centered. Keep growing, keep pushing, and most importantly, keep living for you. Until next time, stay centered, stay grounded, and let that self-actualized glow shine bright. Later.